You know, it's interesting. Um, I went out to see Tesla, you know, when it was, people think e Elon Musk founded it. Actually, uh, I went to see Tesla when there was a, the CEO was a guy named Martin Everhard. And um, uh, I don't know if you remember, but the only vehicle they had was the little Lotus derived uh, Lotus. sports mm -hmm. car. And um, I went, I came back to Detroit and I said, um, you know, hey, I just was out visiting this company that was really, really interesting uh, called Tesla. And it's an EV. And I said, you know, the fit and finish isn't very good. And, you know, it's a it's basically a prototype. But the thing is a blast to drive. And I think they're onto something. And our engineers just kind of laughed and said, you know, oh, yeah, we're aware that they're, they're not going to be anything. And that's when I was convinced that, OK, you know, we need to open our eyes. Uh, and, you know, and Tesla obviously had a had the playing field uh, all to themselves for, you know, quite some time because the OEMs across the, the industry just had their eyes closed. Um, was, and, that, was that Detroit arrogance? Yeah, I think so, actually. But it wasn't just Detroit. It, it, frankly, it was it was it was Germany. It was it was Japan. Um, I mean, it I think it was the whole auto industry. It, it wasn't just Detroit. Um, and it arrogance. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it was, you know, sort of the, the not, not invented here syndrome that, you know, all the big players, whether it was Ford, Toyota, General Motors, Volkswagen, you know, you go down the list, they all felt like, hey, we're doing a ton of advanced research ourselves. Um, you know, we're, we're, you know, looking at things like fuel cells and, um, you know, compressed natural gas and all these different things. And so what Tesla is doing, frankly, isn't all that interesting. Um, and they completely missed the point that uh, it wasn't just the propulsion system that Tesla was doing, but it was also things like over the air update, all the software that went into it, um, the customer experience, all the things that they were experimenting with. So, um, yeah, I mean. So how could Tesla do it then? Well, look, they had it, they had the game to themselves uh, for a long time and and uh, and they they were able to experiment and iterate. Um and now, though, uh, I feel like we are um, not only in the fight, but we are in the fight to win. And um, it's going to be, I can't wait to see what the future is going to hold because, you know, I like our chances very much. You know, it's interesting. Um, you know, most everybody focuses on the retail buyer and they should. But there's also the, the professional segment. And, you know, that's something that we are in the process of electrifying. We've set up our own division called Ford Pro that's going to use technology and use software to make anybody who's in the professional world, whether you're a tradesman or a big fleet, make your life easier and better and more usable. I think those kind of things, um, you know, the, the software, the, the, the getting to the customer in a way that they've never interacted with before, those kinds of things that Tesla was, was starting to, well, not starting to, but they were innovating in that space, all of a sudden has become a very crowded and interesting space. And, I, and as I say, I, I very much like where we're positioned.